Someone named Cuff the Legend made an Instagram post saying why are young players so sensitive when the OG legends give them constructive criticism? When did the respect level change? I'm guessing he's talking about the recent criticism Shaq been giving players. Part of this is Shaq. I, I said tonight that uh, you are one of my favorite players, but you don't have what it takes to get to the next level. I said it on purpose. I wanted you to hear it. What do you have to say about that? All right. That's it. <laughs> that's it? All right. That's it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, like, at the end of the day, like, I'm, I'm here to, to, to play basketball and be the best teammate and best player that I can be. They don't like it. They don't like it. I'm not. I'm not trying to make this about me. This is. This is team basketball. Like at the end of the day, we're we're winning. We're doing good things. We just got to keep it up. You asked for Dwight Howard. We gave him to you. Didn't work out. You asked for Chris Paul. We gave him to you. We asked for some. You asked for some shooters. We gave it to you. We asked for Westbrook, your homeboy from Little League. We gave him to you. Didn't work out. So he ain't step up yet. You know. All that, you know, all that talk about, you know, we should be uplifting brothers and all that. I uplift my brothers by telling them the truth. I'm not a yes man, okay? You ain't show up yet, so you gotta win the championship. All that making it to the finals, you supposed to make it to the finals. You supposed to make it to the finals, but you also supposed to win. I Both Donovan Mitchell and James Harden didn't take that criticism too well. And many other players in the past have gotten mad after they got criticized. KD felt some type of way when he seen this, so he commented them old heads need to enjoy retirement. These boys have coaches they work with every day, lol. LeBron commented under this same post saying there's a difference between constructive criticism and soft hating though. I've seen it both ways come my way, mostly the hate. You can hear it in their delivery. What LeBron said is super facts. Most of the time he gets hated on rather than receiving constructive criticism. You're saying he's a first ballot Hall of Famer just because he's about to be a three-time MVP? Skip Are you kidding Sit. me? Just, rec just recline in your grandfather's chair and, and, and <laughs> sip on some, on some latte or something and just listen. Yeah. But sometimes he does deserve some criticism like every other player because no one is perfect. But like I said, it's the difference between hate and constructive criticism. Other than LeBron though, I think players receive constructive criticism most of the time, but they take it as hate because they sensitive. When players give their opinions, most of the time it's nothing personal. But sometimes it is. But as a player, regardless if it's constructive criticism or hate, they should use it as motivation and don't let it affect their game. With that mentality, they could always get better. More players need to take criticism like Joel Embiid did from Shaq. I appreciate you. I'm, uh, I, I've really listened to what you said and Shaq, and you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep walking, and uh, you know I'm definitely gonna use that and try to get better every single night and bring it every single night. Thank you. But how do y'all feel about this situation? Are young players being too sensitive? Or are the OGs hating too much? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more vids. Peace.